Hello, Virgo. This is your reading for mid-January 2020, or at least the energies that are starting there. For those born in the zodiac sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Full Celtic Cross. I'm looking for new energies and hopefully positive energies for Virgo. New energies and hopefully positive energies for Virgo. And as you know, these will not resonate with all Virgos, but I hope to reach the majority. And you know I always look for a positive reading, but some, if that doesn't happen, we work through it. We just got to give an honest reading. Okay? Hmm, Six of Pentacles. No give and take in a situation with you with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe you're trying um, to work with somebody and they're not working hard enough with you or vice versa. Fool card. You're thinking about taking a new loop of faith going into something new. Something that maybe no one's expecting. I'm feeling that. And it may be a couple of things you've got to do to juggle and keep it going. You know, um, it could be that it may be, ta you may be thinking, can you do it? That's what you're thinking. Because you're starting to go forward with something new and, it, and it, it'll keep you very, very busy. It's going to um, maybe even tax your strength a little. What crowned you or the goal is the Page of Cups, and the Page of Cups is in the upright. Is messages of friendship, love, and kindness, sometimes gifts. Maybe this is what you're heading towards. Maybe you're wanting these good messages. Maybe you're going to be sending these messages. It could be all things. And you know I clarify these cards, and I can change up the story or make it more interesting. Plus, I'll be giving you a love reading at the end, so stick with me. Hierophant contracts for Virgo, maybe new relationships, things that are considered solid in society, you know, like conformity, everybody expects it from you. But at the same time, I'm seeing you jumping into something new. So maybe you are going to be juggling two different things. Well, we shall see. we got to clarify. In the past, you're dealing with the Six of Cups. You're dealing with nostalgia, maybe negative memories, maybe memories from someone in the past. Maybe it's got you kind of, uh. Maybe it could have been with that Six of Pentacles where you try to work it with somebody and they didn't work it with you, or vice versa. Very near future, I got this, I think for Leo, this is a star card. Don't give up hope, Virgo, because it's out there for you in the very near future. Uh, advice from the universe, possible future outcome is the King of Swords. The King of Swords is in reverse. Um, it could be the universe letting you know this person is around you that may uh, have no filter. They may say something to you. They may aggravate you. It also could be that there, you could be taking on this energy where you need to watch what you say um, and think clearly. Think. Think clearly in what you need to do. And I, like I said, I'll clarify. What is coming towards you, two of wands, someone's going to ask you to make a decision whether to stick with safety next, nets or go forward passionately with what you're wanting. Okay, they may ask you of this. Your hopes and fears, you're wanting your ships to come in, positive things to come in. And you may very well, you know, see this with the three of wands in the upright. You want positive things to come in and negative things to leave, okay? In the end, you got the king of pentacles. That's, that could be your energy where you take on your crown, you become more stable and more successful. Some of you could be dealing with another earth sign, um, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I do not assign one um, court card um, for the zodiac signs like this because we're dealing with the masses, a lot of people. But I'm feeling this is your energy. You taking on your crown, taking on stability, taking on success, maybe even uh, having really long term stability. Okay, Virgo. So don't give up hope if you're having a little bit of troubles. Um, it does look like you're going to take on something relatively new. Um, that will bring you success in the end. But it's, it's like you're hanging on to a safety net also wondering if you should go forward with this new venture. So the full card in the upright and two of pentacles crossing it. I need two cards for Virgo as a subject at hand for uh, mid-January 2020. Two cards, please. Yeah, overcoming failures. You're going to put away failures and you're going to compete. I saw that with Leo also, but at, towards the end, um, you're going to compete. You're going to compete very uh, quickly uh, what you're wanting to go for. Some people call it strife, but it's just not necessarily strife. It's called competition and going for what you're wanting and not giving up, you know, fighting for what you're wanting, in other words. So don't give up. Don't give up, okay? had to move those over so I could get them all on the screen. Now, what crowns you are the goal is a page of cups. You may be getting some messages that you really like, okay? You also could be dealing with a water sign, some of you. Um, uh, 
Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but you know, I see this as an energy more or less. So Page of Cups in the upright, I need two cards for Virgo. That's what crowns them or the goal. Queen of Rods could evolve a, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And it may be someone that you may have had a battle with at one time, or you may be battling with this person of which way you should go. Maybe it's because you're taking on a new energy or new things in your life. It may aggravate people, and they may say, um, why are you doing this? And you're going to say, well, it's going to be good for all of us or good for me, and it may cause an argument. But you're going to be okay. You're going to send kindness. You're going to get kind words after it's all over, because that's the main energy is kind words. Um Possibly from the Queen of Rods when before maybe there wasn't kind words. There'll be kind words coming in. Okay, so now we got the foundation is the Hierophant. And that's about solid contracts, commitments, something that is conformity, solid in society. Um, the Hierophant in the upright. I need two cards, please, for Virgo. Page of Rods. Again, passionate new messages and beginnings. Um, with the Three of Cups in reverse, it's not like you're going to um, celebrate this right away. Because it's like you're not trusting in it. Even though it is coming in, you're still kind of him hauling around about past energies of the Six of Cups in reverse, as I see in the past. So, you're, you're even though you're going to take this leap of faith, it's like you're thinking, is it the right thing to do right now? Don't celebrate too early before I know it is set in stone type situation. But it is going to happen, okay? But you're going to be leery of, you know, um, counting your chickens before they're hatched, as they say. Now, in the past, you got the Six of Cups in reverse. I need two cards for why that is in reverse for Virgo. Negative memories from people in the past. Yeah, you may have lost out on some money and some stability with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And you need to come out of Hermit mode. You may have been stuck in it also with it in reverse. But it need, you need to come out of that, you know, and you will. And in the very near future, you got the star card. It's hope. It's, you know, wishing upon a star. And don't give up hope. That's what it's more or less saying to you. You're not going to. You're going to go forward. So the star card in the upright. I need two cards for Virgo in the very near future. Two cards, please. The star card again. Don't you dare give up hope. Okay? Don't you dare. Um, it's there for you. And you're going to have happiness. Something's going to come to you, Virgo. It's going to make you seriously happy. You're like, oh, I was wishing for this. That's the sun in the upright, too. Now, possible future outcome and advice from the universe. It's a king of swords. Could be somebody. It could be the universe telling you you may not be thinking clearly on some of the things, especially with the memories in the past. Let that stuff go. Um, watch words. Um, uh, concentrate more also. It could be that, you know. But, you know, so some of you could be dealing with the air sign. But I need two cards for the king of swords in reverse for the possible future outcome and advice from the universe. Two cards, please. Yeah, someone you someone you had a Yeah, it's about I'm thinking it has a lot to do with that six of cups. You got the three of swords it's in reverse, so it's past heartbreak, something that really got to you, sorrow, and you had an emotional commitment with this person. So, you know, it could be, you know, watch your words with them. Um that they may say something to you, you know, they may be bothering you in your heart. That could be it too. Don't let it get to you. Keep on going. Don't give up hope and look for happiness, okay? Because it kind of wait, it's kind of in the back of your head still, you know, this energy. So let it go. It's telling you to let it go, you know. Um, I'm not saying you should never talk to this person again. I'm just saying let the negativity go with this person so it doesn't get in the way of your success. And what's coming towards you, someone's going to say, you better make a decision. Do you want to come with this? Do you want to do this? Or are you going to stay in the past even where you're, or where you're at in a safety net? So you got the two of wands as the outside environment coming towards Virgo. I need two cards, please, for mid-January. Two cards, please. It starts in mid-January. It doesn't end there. Collaboration, sure. Yeah, they're saying for you to collaborate. And it's more than just one person, too that's asking you this, or it's going to be in a group setting, and it's going to be working hard, and they're saying collaborate, make a decision, so you can come out of this not having enough, feeling neglected, feeling like you won't um, succeed in life, so um, come out of that so you can be successful, you will come out of wanting, okay, needing, now, your hopes and fears is the Three of Wands, ships coming in. You're wanting them to come in. You're wanting negative things to leave. So the Three of Wands in the upright. And the hopes and fears of Virgo, why are you there? Hopes and fears. It's a good reading. 
uh, Knight of Cups, you're wanting the positive things to come forward, and you kind of fear like you won't get your gain. You're wanting your good omens to come in with the Knight of Cups, and um, you know, positive things, loving things, things that will make you happy. But you know, at the same time, you're fearing that you won't get it. Because remember, this is hopes and fears. You're hoping for your ships to come in. You're wanting positive messages. You're wanting kindness coming in. <clears throat> but you're afraid you won't get it. And you're afraid in some way you'll you'll lose your independence if you're going for the ones you're want, going for the things that you're wanting. Now, the King of Pentacles is at the very end. This could be you, like I said, taking on your crown, taking on your energy, taking on your power. Do it. So the King of Pentacles in the upright, in the very end for Virgo. Why are they taking on their crown? What is causing them to take on their crown? Or could you give us more information? Two cards, please, for Virgo. Oh, wow, you gain a victory. You may lose a little bit of strength. You may feel like it's going to take some courage because it will. You may feel like you're losing a little bit of edge while you're going for this, but you're gaining the victory, so don't worry. You're gaining victory and um, over something that was lacking in strength before also. Ships are coming in there, Virgo. Three of Wands again. So what you're going for and what you're hoping for is coming in. So don't give up hope. You're going to be happy. Just don't go back in the past and worry about the things in the past and the heartbreaks of the past because those will fix itself, okay? I know it's easier said than done, but it will happen if you allow it to, okay? I'm going to give you a love reading. I'll be right back. Let me clean this up. Hello, Virgo. This is your reading for the love reading, that is, for mid-January 2020. It's for Virgo, sun, moon, and rising, new energies, and hopefully positive energies when it comes to love, you know? We need to know about love. We know. You're gaining a lot of success in the last reading. And it may take off from that reading, or we may get a whole different energy. So you can pick and choose from which um, um, section you want. or And I bring them all together in the end anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I need three cards for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising for mid-January 2020 concerning love. Okay, three cards from the Angel Answers to give us more information about love for mid-January 2020 for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, new energies, hopefully positive energies for Virgo over love. Tell us something about love for Virgo. I do see you kind of clinging to the past a little or it's bothering you somewhat. I don't know why. It's going to be different for everybody, you know. That's why, you know, you can just read so far for a generalized reading. But it, does, it is happening for many of you where, you know, you're just changing. Transform, transformation is what it is. So I need three cards from the Psychic Tarot for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. New energies, positive energies for Virgo. Coming in for mid-January 2020 about love. Tell us more about their love life, please, from the Psychic Tarot. And then we'll get on with the reading. i just like you to see me doing it. And I'll watch. Seeing is believing. Very soon, something's going to happen, okay? Very soon. Whatever you're wanting to happen and what you're going for is definitely going to decide. So decide on going towards what you're wanting to go towards. Remember that two of wands, okay? Listen to your intuition. If you feel like something in your gut is telling you to do something, it's usually right or is about something. And moving on to better things, okay? Moving on from troubled waters with the, um, with the six card. I consider like... Six of Swords, more or less. Moving on. Definitely moving on. And the middle ones, keep an open mind. If you do meet a soulmate, it may be totally different than what you're used to in the future. Okay? This person will be not what, you, uh, what you're used to. It's going to be different from what you're you know, used to. As I say, I keep on repeating that. Um, if you believe in something, if you believe in something's going to happen, it's going to happen. And then... Don't go through emotional withdrawal. It just kind of came out reversed a little, but um, these are, you know, uh, the psychic tarot, and it's pretty accurate. Some of you may go through some little bit of emotional withdrawal, you know. Don't do that. Try not to, only, if you, only for a short time if you have to, because someone's going to expect you to make a decision if you're going by the last reading. But if you believe and keep an open mind, someone's going to come into your life. That's really kind of different from you, and you might want to, um, uh, know that by, by this reading, you know, don't throw them, you know, don't throw them to the curb. Don't kick them to the curb. 
Chemistry, you're going to have a lot of chemistry with a person coming towards you. Look for a sign like that 1111 or something like that. Uh, whatever, you'll know. But if this is the right person, and look for a sign because you're going to have really strong chemistry with this person. This, I mean, if you're bringing this together, it could be someone that you're not usually used to. And you're going to get fulfillment of wishes. And I did see that for Virgo. You know, good things coming in. Just let things go that, that aren't good for you. Move on. Okay? Listen to your intuition because very soon positive things are going to happen. But you got to keep an open mind. You can't doubt. you got to believe. Even if you want to withdraw and go within yourself, don't do it for very long. Okay? Because you're going to meet someone you have chemistry with. A sign will come that will tell you it's the right person. And you will get fulfillment and wishes. Okay? I'm going to let this go and I will upload it soon. Bye.